Yeah, I think that that women often struggle with defining themselves as ambitious. And part of that is because they have seen women who are perceived of as being ambitious. They have seen them get so negatively tagged for it. And, you know, you can go back. I mean, you can see someone running for president. Oh, she's so ambitious. Yeah, she's running for president. What do you think? Uh, you know, <laughs> most people are going to be running for president who are going to be pretty ambitious. Um, women who are, you know, in very high positions are often criticized while well, they're, they're so ambitious. You know, they must not have any personal life or any home life or, you know, just be very difficult to be around. So I think that women often get kind of scared off from being seen as ambitious. And, um, you know, in the book, one of the things I, I, I quote this uh, uh, psychiatrist on the Upper East Side of New York City who worked with women who were mostly either very senior women in investment banking or very senior women in law firms. And she said that about 80% of the clients who come to see her in the first session say, I want you to know I'm not ambitious. Well, you don't get to be partner in a New York City top 10 Mm. law firm if you're not ambitious. It doesn't just fall into your lap. So it's that discomfort with being perceived of as ambitious or the language around ambition. And I think that 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 has has inhibited women often from from really developing, uh, making the commitment to develop to their full potential. Hmm. And you also talk about the different dimensions around which they're ambitious in terms of some of the other domains of life and other interests. Could you expand on that just for women to take note of what else could be called ambitious? Yes, certainly. And I think that that's, but that's, you know, again, that's changing a little bit. Women have always looked at ambition at work as being uh, balanced or calibrated with being, to some degree, ambitious for uh, the quality of their family life, ambitious for the relationships within their family, ambitious for the ability you know, to be a good family member, a good team player in, um, in a neighborhood association. Uh, recognized as, you know, a good neighbor, a good contributor, good in a nonprofit uh, role that they may take. So I think that that women have often had a rather balanced way of viewing ambition as um, as something uh, you strive to have, you're ambitious to have a well-balanced life. And I think there wasn't that much room for men to do this in the past, but I certainly see that as beginning to change, whereas men are more likely to also articulate their own ambition um, in terms of the, you know, the capacity, the, the, the launching they provide for their daughters and the kinds of relationships that they have at home. So I think that's 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 really changing slowly again, but in that way. 